the IS-2 tank, also known as the Iosif Stalin II, played a pivotal role as a heavy tank utilized by the Soviet Union during World War II and the early Cold War period. Its development was driven by the necessity for a formidable heavy tank capable of countering the advanced German armored forces. The IS-2's origins lie in the Soviet Union's recognition of the need for a heavy breakthrough tank to confront the formidable German armor on the Eastern Front. By the early 1940s, Soviet heavy tanks such as the KV series were proving inadequate against the evolving German tank designs, particularly the Tiger and Panther tanks. This necessitated the development of a new heavy tank with superior firepower and armor protection. In late 1942, the Soviet Union initiated the design process for the IS-2 under the guidance of renowned Soviet designer Joseph Koting. The primary focus was on creating a tank that could deliver potent firepower, provide adequate protection, and maintain reasonable mobility. Various design concepts were explored, leading to the development of prototypes that underwent rigorous testing. Central to the IS-2's design was its primary armament, the 122mm D-25T gun. This formidable weapon was capable of penetrating thick enemy armor at considerable ranges, giving the IS-2 a significant advantage in firepower over its adversaries. The IS-2 featured sloped armor, a design feature aimed at improving its defensive capabilities against enemy projectiles. While not as heavily armored as some German tanks, the IS-2's armor provided adequate protection for its crew against most threats encountered on the battlefield. Despite its considerable weight, the IS-2 was equipped with a powerful V-2 diesel engine, providing it with sufficient mobility to maneuver effectively on the battlefield. This balance of firepower, armor, and mobility was crucial in making the IS-2 an effective heavy tank. The production of the IS-2 tank began in earnest in early 1944, with factories across the Soviet Union mobilized to meet the demand for this formidable heavy tank. Despite facing logistical challenges and the disruptions caused by the ongoing war, Soviet industry managed to ramp up production to ensure a steady supply of IS-2 tanks to frontline units. Early versions of the IS-2 saw limited combat before the end of World War II. However, they proved to be effective in engagements against German armor, thanks to their powerful main gun and adequate armor protection. The IS-2's combat performance validated its design concepts and highlighted its potential as a formidable heavy tank on the battlefield. While precise production figures vary, it is estimated that over 3,800 IS-2 tanks were produced during World War II. This significant production output underscored the Soviet Union's commitment to fielding heavy tanks capable of challenging the German armored forces. Several Soviet factories were involved in the production of the IS-2, including the Chelyabinsk Kirov plant CHKZ, and the Kirov factory No. 100 Leningrad Kirov plant. These facilities were responsible for manufacturing key components and assembling the tanks before they were sent to frontline units. The IS-2 tank proved to be highly effective in combat, showcasing its firepower, armor protection, and mobility on the battlefield. Its combat performance was instrumental in numerous engagements on the Eastern Front and beyond, where it faced off against German tanks and fortified positions. The IS-2's 122mm D-25T gun was its primary asset, capable of destroying enemy tanks and fortifications with ease. Its high explosive shells were particularly effective against enemy infantry and fortifications, adding versatility to its firepower. While not as heavily armored as some German tanks, the IS-2's sloped armor provided adequate protection against most enemy threats. Its armor layout and composition were designed to maximize protection while minimizing weight, striking a balance between survivability and mobility. Despite its heavy weight, the IS-2 exhibited respectable mobility and maneuverability on the battlefield. Its powerful engine and well-designed suspension system allowed it to traverse rough terrain and maintain pace with advancing infantry and other armored units. 
the IS-2 excelled in various combat scenarios, from armored engagements to infantry support missions. Its presence on the battlefield often tilted the balance in favor of Soviet forces, instilling fear in enemy tank crews and bolstering the morale of friendly troops. Soviet tactics for employing the IS-2 tank evolved over time, reflecting its capabilities and role on the battlefield. These tactics were influenced by operational requirements, terrain conditions, and the nature of the enemy opposition. One of the primary roles of the IS-2 was to spearhead breakthrough operations, penetrating enemy defensive lines and creating openings for follow-on forces. In this role, IS-2 tanks would concentrate their firepower on enemy strongpoints and fortified positions, clearing the way for advancing infantry and supporting units. After achieving a breakthrough, IS-2 tanks were tasked with exploiting the success by rapidly advancing into enemy territory, disrupting enemy communications and logistics, and engaging enemy reserves. This required aggressive maneuvering and coordination with other elements of the Soviet Combined Arms Force. In addition to its role in armored assaults, the IS-2 also provided crucial fire support to infantry units engaged in urban combat or defensive operations. Its potent main gun and heavy machine guns were effective in suppressing enemy positions and neutralizing threats to friendly forces. The IS-2 tank left a lasting legacy in the history of armored warfare, shaping the development of subsequent tank designs and influencing military doctrine around the world. Its combat effectiveness, combined with its production numbers and battlefield performance, cemented its reputation as one of the most formidable tanks of World War II. The IS-2's design elements, including its sloped armor, powerful main gun, and emphasis on mobility, influenced the development of post-war tank designs in the Soviet Union and beyond. Elements of its design can be seen in subsequent Soviet tanks such as the T-54 of 55 series. The IS-2 became a symbol of Soviet armored might during World War II, showcasing the industrial and technological prowess of the Soviet Union. Its presence on the battlefield instilled fear in enemy forces and bolstered the morale of Soviet troops. Despite being phased out of frontline service in the post-war years, the IS-2 continued to serve in various capacities in the Soviet Army and its satellite states. Some were converted for specialized roles such as armored recovery vehicles or self-propelled artillery platforms, extending their service life well into the Cold War era. In conclusion, the IS-2 tank represented a significant achievement in Soviet tank design and played a pivotal role in the outcome of World War II. Its production, combat effectiveness, tactics, and enduring legacy underscore its importance in the annals of armored warfare.